The next tools I would like to discuss are the mirror tool, the set point value tool, the stitch and sew, and, and weld. But before I discuss those tools, I want to talk about our little, uh, little cut we made here with the knife tool. K is the shortcut key for that. Uh, notice we, um, we just uh, made these lines, but when I made those lines, I did not have uh, this selected. So if we look on the back here, we have, we have issues. <laughs> so if we uh, go to lines mode, we can see how that came about. Now let's uh, let's go ahead and jump right into those um, those tools. We can fix that. We can just hit undo a couple of times and, and redo it with the uh, with the um, restricted selection on. Where after we actually select it, that is. But let's redo that. Um, <coughs> and we're going to. Uh, well, actually, those are points. So yeah, we're going to go into points mode right quick here, and the weld tool. So if we select these points, hit spacebar and go back to weld, we can weld those points together. Notice we can weld in the middle if we leave it alone, or we can go to one point or the other. And also, <coughs> you can weld polygons. Generally, it will just weld all the points of the polygon. So, we just click and it welds all the points of the polygon together. Now we can get rid of the rid of that edge <coughs> by not hitting delete. That's, that's what happens when we hit delete. What we do is we would use melt the melt tool, and that's all it does. Is it, it'll get rid of that. Of course, those are edges. I'm still going over polygons for the most part, but I thought I would cover that. Okay. Next up, <laughs> mirror. Okay, let's uh, select something to mirror. Let's mirror this. If we click on mirror, notice it's, it mirrors across our viewport. So if we just click that, and it mirrors right there, across where we were viewing it from. So that's probably not all that helpful. Um, usually you want to mirror it in a specific location. And uh, don't confuse this with the symmetry object. The symmetry object mirrors, symmet mirrors your geometry. But uh, this just mirrors it for you to use if you're combining stuff together or using the geometry and uh, building your mesh. Notice um, we got different options here. We got world, and we got the object. So we can actually select points on the object and mirror across those points. Notice um, we got the mirror, have control over the mirror plane. So we have control over where we are mirroring. And it'll, it'll you can you got pretty good control over that. Hmm. Well, that whether what axis, whatever coordinate system you want to use. Like I said, I usually it usually doesn't uh, make a lot of difference, but it can. Hmm. And you can uh, you can do you, just, you can if you don't want to duplicate the tag selection. I'll get into tags and I guess selections a little bit later. And sym symmetric. Of course, you usually want it symmetric if you're mirroring something and, and weld points. So if you mirror across here and start to drag this, notice it's attached to that point. If you, um, if you don't use that feature, go to the mirror tool here. Mirror it. Oopsie. Mirror it, and then we can drag and It's separate. Okay, that covers the mirror tool for the most part. You can do experiment with that. Now, set point value. This is something a little different. I, I really never use this, but it, it can be helpful though. Okay, if we go to that tool, notice it's a no symbol on the mouse. Uh, custom no for me. Um, if I... Alright. You can... Um, <coughs> wow, my voice is going pretty quick. Sorry about that. Okay. You can just hit apply and notice we set the value and we just set it 47 um, actually on the object itself. So we've actually just moved it. That's all we've done. <coughs> oh, more or less what set point value means. You can set the actual value of points or planes in this case. We've got a, a geometry polygon selected there. Or we can um, go to crumple which is pretty cool. Give it a value. It uh, crumple that. We can crumple it more or less. 
So it's um, it's pretty cool. A couple on a few different, uh, few different things. Hmm. So there there are options there. Oh, now we get. Oh wait, no. Okay. Hmm. So hmm, it's a, uh, it's different. I uh, don't really use it a lot, but it's it's there and it's available. Do experiment with it. Now, uh, stitch and sew. Let's undo that a few times. Stitch and sew usually works pretty good if you have holes like this. This is a hole. Uh, <coughs> let's use that. Got it selected. Okay. And we are gonna have to make some kind of selection. We go into the edges mode. And actually select these edges here. Oops. Oh, okay, we're actually in the okay. Stitch and sew. <coughs> It'll bring these ed this edge to this edge. It's not quite bridge because we notice that bridge will just make a bridge. But stitch and sew actually combines them together. Also, it should be <coughs> around here. There it is. So if we click, it actually just sits, just brings those over. So it actually s sews them one from one side to the other. We could uh, probably do some. Pretty bad damage with that, <laughs> but um, it it it's, it can be helpful. Let's um, like let's just take these, do an extrude inner here, and bring this in a few times with a few segments. We have uh, just uh, I guess a few segments deleted here. Use the stitch and so. Again with the weld tool, go back to polygons mode. The weld tool just welds points together. So if we want to get rid of what we've done, we can actually just weld these points back together. Or we can simply delete all that geometry and close polygon holes. So I, I hope you can see where all these um, these tools can come into place here. Oh, well, we could also just use the bridge tool. For that, and go into edges mode and just bridge this and close polygon hole. So, all these tools are available. And also, notice I left an end gun. To remove that, we can actually go to the remove end gun uh, tool. We right click, and uh, since my capture program, uh, since I actually have it this floating in a little bit different place, it's right. Under this, it's it's right, it's in the very bottom. Remove end guns, so it'll actually add that segment in there. Now we see our our end gun is no more, and actually it doesn't even look like we want that point there. <coughs> you notice when so when we delete that geometry, we actually have points left over here. That's not good. So if you delete geometry, try to try to delete them from the points. To get rid of that, we can just Control A to select everything, which is the same as going to Edit and select. Well, yeah. Edit and select all. Go to optimize. Say okay. Just leave it to default values, and it deletes unused points. So um, that's that's pretty good.